Hello Libra, welcome. I did want to go into a quick reading for you guys today. Um, something really, really quick. It's just going to be something general, going into self, love, money, spirituality. And then we're going to see what the overall message is. What's overall coming in, all right? So let's go ahead and get right into this reading. It's going to be a general reading for Libra. Libra Sun Moon Rising. <clears throat> I'm going to be pulling the energy for the next couple of days, but you take the energies whenever they come. Only take what resonates and leave what does not. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Right now, I can see you guys leaving something comfortable to go do what you really love. I can also see right now you being in a very celebratory mood um, because of some type of transition when it comes to some type of love energy, a love relationship in your life. <clears throat> All right, there's a major transition into many, many options when it comes to career. Um, you do have the death card, and you're starting off this energy with the death card, going right into the seven of cups, um, which I'm seeing that as multiple, multiple options, multiple possibility, multiple doors opening up. And this is just giving like multiple ships here. So it's like, which one do you want to take or how many do you want to take? How many can you actually focus on? There's some type of new birth that brings many, many more options. It almost gives me a feeling that you're waiting on something. Somebody could be waiting on something, waiting on someone. Or this is this could have been something that you you've been waiting on. <laughs> Okay, look at you, leveling up in love. Okay, so you are celebrating yourself from this transition when it comes to love. There is some type of celebration. You do have the Ten of Swords here with the Queen of Swords. So this is you happily ending something or you happily releasing something and you're able to focus, all of your focus is on this love connection. So this is for somebody who is in a relationship. There's something, it's like the past is finally behind. Now something can finally be let go of and you can kind of focus on the connection at hand and just that. So the Queen of Swords focus is on love, all right? So your self-focus is definitely on love. Um, you could be focusing on trying to deepen one particular connection, spending more time with one particular co um, connection. Okay, and let's get into... Spirit is telling you to stay dedicated. <clears throat> stay dedicated because there is something you're going to um, lead to some type of stronger wisdom, stronger just overall strength. Um, it's like stick to, stay committed or stay dedicated in the even when the moon comes, even when you're unsure of something. Stay Stay dedicated. Something is leading you to healing or leading you through healing, I should say. Um, this is an amazing time. You have the Fool card, the Hangman, and the Queen of Wands. All right, right now, you're stepping into a new perception 
I feel like also you're moving different. Yeah, of course, because the Queen of Swords is focused on love. All right, so you are moving differently. The overall message is you are open to a new way of being. Hmm. Because you're open to a new way of being, it could be causing you to stay committed to your steps because you're focused on cultivating this new energy. Um, you're cultivating this new level of confidence, this bold energy. Also, you could be doing your hair, everything differently. You're just focused on a new way of being. This just reminds me of the saying, um, envision your best self and show up and show up as them. So this is basically what it's looking like. Your heart is open. You are in a very, very vulnerable state and you are looking at things a little bit differently. More passionate, of course. Way more fiery. Um, demanding a lot of attention. And a lot of this tension is becoming is coming from your new perception. This new energy. This love energy. Um, this focus, this new focus on love. Also, this rebirth when it comes to career. There's something that, there's some change that you decided to accept and this brings many, many options coming your way. Um, also due to this focus at the bottom of the deck, we do have the celebration, um, the four of wands. So it's very, very celebratory energy here. All right. So I'm going to get a crossing card for each. of your self-placement you feel balanced all right you definitely feel balanced um some of you guys are working with the moon could be working with the moon to release some things um yeah why didn't i see this <laughs> working with the moon all right um working with the moon to release something why didn't i see that before <clears throat> all right you have the eight of cups when it comes to this crossing this is the eight of cups the career placement there could be something that you have to leave walk away from um realize some change had to be you know some change needed to happen and now you are open it up to many many options yeah you have the six of pentacles with the star card you're being um reciprocated many many options reciprocated some type of wish fulfillment so if you leave this you get your wish multiple and for some of you guys you have many things many doors are definitely going to be open you go right into many um opportunities not just one yeah not just one thing there's so many seeds there's so many options. All right, yes, the Empress energy is crossing this when it comes to love. So now you've let go of something in the past. This could have been some, some deep type of hurt that you did have to let go of so you can focus on love, so you can focus on your Empress energy. All of your energy is showing up in your love placement so you definitely are focused on it there's going to be a really really big change you do have 10 10 when it comes to love um a lot of um support a lot of adm admiration a lot of those things happening to you also the center of attention if you're not dating you definitely could find somebody like you, you are definitely commanding attention, especially with this Queen of Wands energy. Then you have this Empress energy when it comes to love. It's like a major seductive energy. Tell me more. Yep, you got the Ace of Pentacles. Continue working with the moon. When, when the more you work with the moon, the more it brings you some type of spiritual wisdom, some type of spiritual strength. 
Um, you're able to communicate with the moon. This also brings you um, manifestation powers, all right, towards you. You become very, very magnetic um, when you work with the moon. It looks like you already are working with the sun. <laughs> Work more with the moon here. All right, and what's the last one? Yep, you got emperor energy. Yeah, you are moving different, stepping different. You are in act. You you are in action. You're bold. You're confident. Um. You also are attracting a lot of things coming towards you. You do have the lover's card. That is the attraction card. There is a celebration coming towards you as well, but you're opening up. You're moving way, way, way different. So I'm going to leave that a reading right here. I hope this reading resonates. If it does, make sure you give this reading a big thumbs up and make sure you guys are subscribed. I love you guys, and I will see you in the next video.